This is the controversial sign here in Victoria. Some area residents thought it was hateful, inappropriate. They say it misuses the scripture and it must come down. Pray for the president. He needs it. Milton Knights Jr. recently received an email from a friend. He decided to post the quoted psalm on his billboard. And what's your prayer for President Obama? That he's not in office next term. Psalms 109.8 is the controversial piece of scripture on the billboard. If you open your Bible, you'll see the verse says, let his days be few and let another take his office. Exactly what it says. Hope he's gone soon and somebody different takes his place. Just 11 words long, but packed with meaning. The verses around it wish nothing but death and suffering. He shared with me a little bit about some of the threats that have come at his family, which is incredibly inappropriate and in no way helpful and in no way how we're called to react when we disagree with somebody. Reverend um, so Amy Danchik started a petition demanding Nitch take down the sign they've since met and Nitch agreed to replace the billboard. When do you plan to take down this sign? As soon as possible. Nitch says he had no idea the firestorm of controversy his sign would create. He told us he might replace it with something like vote for the American, another questionable sign but leaving the word of God to a greater power. We spoke with code enforcement here in the city of Victoria. They say they don't monitor content on signs like this. They could only get involved if this sign started creating a traffic problem. In Victoria, James Munoz, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.